FKM is the designation for about 80% of flow rule elastomers as defined in ASTM D1418. Other fluorinated elastomers are perfluoroelastomers and tetrafluoroethylene propylene rubbers. All FKMs contain vinylid and fluoride as a monomer. Originally developed by DuPont, FKMs are today also produced by Dakin Chemical, 3M's Dignon, Sylvay Speciality Polymers and Halo Polymer. Fluoro elastomers are more expensive than neoprene or nitrile rubber elastomers. They provide additional heat and chemical resistance. FKMs can be divided into different classes on the basis of either their chemical composition, their fluorine content or their cross-linking mechanism. Types On the basis of their chemical composition FKMs can be divided into the following types. Type 1 FKMs are composed of vinylid and fluoride and hexafluoropropylene. Copolymers are the standard type of FKMs showing a good overall performance. Their fluorine content typically ranges around 66 weight percent. Type 2 FKMs are composed of VDF, HFP, and tetrafluoroethylene. Topolymers have a higher fluorine content compared to copolymers, which results in better chemical and heat resistance. Compression set and low temperature flexibility may be affected negatively. Type 3 FKMs are composed of VDF, TFE, and perfluoromethyl vanillether. The addition of PMVE provides better low temperature flexibility compared to copolymers and topolymers. Typically the fluorine content of type 3 FKMs ranges from 62 to 68 weight percent. Type 4 FKMs are composed of propylene, TFE, and VDF. While base resistance is increased in type 4 FKMs, their swelling properties especially in hydrocarbons are worsened. Typically they have a fluorine content of about 67 weight percent. Type 5 FKMs are composed of VDF, HFP, TFE, PMVE, and ethylene. Type 5 FKM is known for base resistance and high temperature hydrogen sulfide resistance. FFKM, FFKMs are perfluoroelastomeric materials. They have excellent resistance to high temperatures and chemicals. Certain grades have a maximum continuous service temperature of 327 AA degrees Celsius. They are commonly used to make O-rings and gaskets that are used in applications that involve contact with hydrocarbons or highly corrosive fluids, or when a wide range of temperatures is encountered. Cross-linking mechanisms There are three established cross-linking mechanisms used in the curing process of FKMs. Dimine cross-linking using a block dimine. In the presence of basic media VDF is vulnerable to dehydrofluorination which enables the addition of the dimine to the polymer chain. Typically magnesium oxide is used to catch the resulting hydrofluoric acid and rearrange into magnesium fluoride and water. Although rarely used today, dimine curing provides superior rubber to metal bonding properties as compared with other cross-linking mechanisms. The dimine's capability to be hydrated makes the dimine crosslink vulnerable in aqueous media. Ionic crosslinking was the next step in curing FKMs. This is the most common crosslinking chemistry used for FKMs. It provides superior heat resistance, improved hydrolytic stability, and better compression set than dimine curing. In contrast to dimine curing the ionic mechanism is not an addition mechanism but an aromatic nucleophilic substitution. Dihydroxyaromatic compounds are used as the cross-linking agent and quaternary phosphonium salts are typically used to accelerate the curing process. Peroxide cross-linking was originally developed for type 3 FKMs containing PMVE as dimine and bisphenolic cross-linking systems can lead to cleavage in a polymer backbone containing PMVE. While dimine and bisphenolic cross-linking are ionic reactions, peroxide cross-linking is a free radical mechanism. Though peroxide cross-links are not as thermally stable as bisphenolic cross-links, they normally are the system of choice in aqueous and non-aqueous electrolytes. References External links Designing with fluorolestomers, fluorine-containing elastomers